Deuteronomy 25.2 Vehaya im bin hakot harasha vehipilo hashofet vehikahu lefanav kade rishato bemispar so we've got here uh, further uh, information and uh, delineation of this wicked one or this guilty one. We begin here with a vav consecutive on the perfect. This is a call perfect third masculine singular of the verbal root haya. You can see all the verbal uh, root elements there. And this just kind of sets the stage continuing in the present or sorry, in the future tense. So and it shall come about or and it shall be or something like and then this will happen. Then we get another kind of condition here, but it's stated explicitly, not with the key. It's with the im condition, and it shall come about if a son of the beating, and I take this to be a verbless clause, is the guilty one. Now, let me explain this a little bit. Son of the beating, or son of a beating. Uh, we have here, this is the verbal root, nun kaf he. Now you're like, where in the world does that come from? It's a hifil infinitive construct. So what we get is the hifil uh, infinitive shell. We get then the third he that gets dropped, and we get the oat. And because this nun has a silent schwa, it actually becomes the dagesh. And so let me see if I can strategically erase that. So that's how we end up with hakot. So it's an infinitive construct, and the whole thing together means one who deserves a beating uh, or one who deserves to be stricken. So it shall come about if the guilty one is one who deserves to be stricken is a way to, to think about this. Then the judge here serving as the subject. Now, technically, this is a call participle, but shofet became so common for the one judging that it just becomes the noun. So the judge will cause to lie down or will cause to fall down. The verbal root here is nun pe lamid, cause him to fall down, third masculine singular pronominal suffix, and we have a hifil perfect third masculine singular. Again, assimilated nun right there. Shall cause him to fall down, and he shall cause him to be stricken before him. So the verb this time is naka again, but this time it's a hifil perfect third masculine singular plus that third masculine singular pronominal suffix. He shall cause him to be stricken before him or cause him to be beaten before him. And then we get according to his guilt in number. And the number here, I think, would be something like uh, the number of lashes that he should get or uh, in proportion to his uh, offense, the number of stripes I think the ESV uses. So it would be something like that, according to his guilt in number.